Ireland women's 4 by 400 metres team who've just qualified for the final of the competition. Congratulations, Sophie. An incredible achievement. Almost a new national record. The USA, they got disqualified. That's what we're in. We don't care. What an amazing performance. I am speechless. Like, I can't believe when I saw the time flash up on the board. It's so close to a national record. We were asked yesterday what did we think we could run. We were hoping for a low 27. To take a second off of that and nearly more, I am absolutely, I am so proud of these three girls here and Neve as well, our sub. Like, the work that we put in the last few days out here, I'm just, I'm actually speechless. I'm so happy. Roisin, tell us about your leg of the race and also coming in, you haven't run yet. What did you make of the atmosphere, the heat, the conditions, the pressure? Yeah, the, the conditions, the conditions were quite challenging. Um, we were kind of in an air-conditioned bit warming up because it was just so hot. Um, so that helped a bit, but it is difficult, you know, when you're Irish and, like, <laughs> you're not used to that. But, um, yeah, the atmosphere is incredible. The Hungarians were in our heat, which obviously helped. Um, so, yeah, it was just amazing. And, again, I'm, I'm so proud of us. And, like, it's really amazing. And, Kelly, listen, your World Championship debut. We know with the relays, not many people gave Ireland a chance at all coming into this race. Yeah. But anything can happen in the relays, and it did. How did you find it? I know, yeah. Honestly, it was amazing. Like, the atmosphere, like the girl said, it's incredible. Like, the Hungarians are in our heat. But, to be honest, the Irish gave them a good run for their money. Like, we had such a nice cheer there. Um, and, yeah, it's... Honestly, it was like an outer body experience, but just when I saw Charlene crossing the line, saw the time, I was like, this is phenomenal. Like, I'm actually so happy to be on the team and I'm so proud of all the girls. Like, it, it was amazing. And Charlene, you just seem to love running on this track. We can't get rid of you at this stage. Better unpack those bags. You have another race to go. I know, honestly, when the girls told me we qualified, I was just, as Sophie would say, speechless. <laughs> but I will get up and go again. You know, I'm a team player. I love this team, true and true. And I'll always do my best to be a part of it. And we qualified for another world final. This is insane. <laughs> so, And Sophie, can I just ask you then, if we pass the microphone back down, is the aim then to get a good time in qualification for the next Olympics, I think, happens at the World Relays? Uh, go out tomorrow and, and see what happens. We never know with those baton changes. I mean, as you saw there today, we, we honestly, like, we did not know. We just wanted to run fast, and whether that was us in the final or not, we didn't know. It is. Absolutely anything can happen. The USA are out. What's to say another team or two could be out tomorrow? Absolutely anything can happen. We're going to give it our best. Go back, recover, have some chicken and rice, as Sarah Lavin said. <laughs> the glamour. And come back out here and do it again. You know, we love competing together, and we're going to give our all for Ireland tomorrow. Well, I can tell you, we can't wait to see you all tomorrow night. Go home, get some rest, and we will see you tomorrow. Let's get back down to the action.